here about 25 minutes early, but everything is set up outside. So let's see what he's got going on. I'm pretty excited. I got a ton of low primer and stuff, but uh, then, uh, what's his face uh, took Angel a lot of it there. at uh, Tampa, like the, all the gunslingers. But yeah, I have a, a whole bunch of for. cameo gunslingers, 119. Yeah, nothing super low print run. Sandman, that's cool. So tough price and stuff. This the next week it's ten dollars more and fifty dollars higher. How much do you have on the 181? It's it's market value. The last it's one on eBay right now for twenty three ninety nine. What are these over here? Uh, basically those are really expensive magazines because they were the first comic porn magazines or whatever, and that's Epic Number One just in a beautiful condition. Epic Comic Number One. Yeah, it's all Frank Frazetta. I have the entire run. You know, got so. Man's World. And the first Puerto Rican superhero, which is the one at the end. These are cool. Sarah would probably. Yeah, those, are, those are hard to get. It's really hard to find. So 20 that's bucks. Why they, that's why they were so much money. At least the, most magazines are like 10 bucks. Uh, I've only added a few things to the silver and bronze because I want to try to get rid of what I have here before I stock new because I know that pretty much everyone's looking for, uh, you know, major keys and stuff like that. I wish I had all of these signed, but I didn't. Jim Lee only signed uh, those ones up there. But I mean, you know, tons of tons of Jim Lee stuff. And those are cool. Yeah, I mean, just most most books I could take off the shelf and then put it right back. But there's just tons. It's a, and even the the key that's inside does pretty much would say if it's fifty dollars for the key, you're probably gonna get one through four, one through ten. For that price, you know what I mean? In the Spider-Man box. Because you want to, you want to sell, sell it all, you know. Like this, the, this is one of the best reads and runs of, of all. Like people loved it. That's why it sold so well. But you know, the writer got sick of writing it, and you know, just good artists and stuff like that. How much are those ones? Oh, they're like fifty bucks. The only one that's a little bit more is a newsstand because one out of you know five hundred that I might have had, you know, that's just that's just red as, as opposed to orange. Just beautiful copies, man. Foreigns. I've got a lot of foreigns, and I've got a lot of uh, UKs. Oh, are those? Where is that? A Pence? Yeah, old Pence editions. Oh, and that's cool. They're different Pence editions. See? Oh yeah, the Captain America. And then, you know, specific. I know people are like. Well, why would you even put that there? Because they're all Stephen Platts. Platt is the artist who who draws it exactly like McFarlane. You know, these people are good friends of mine, like Tony Daniels. And stuff like that, you know. Yeah, I noticed you had a bunch in the Batman box over there. Kevin's definitely a friend of mine. That he has been nothing but giving to me. I mean, he took he took that he took those to his 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 bedroom because uh, I gave him a white pen, and he took them to his bedroom that night in in uh, in Las Vegas and. He made it in turtle green. What's in that Detective Comics lot right it's there? It's a great bundle. It's way more money than that. But I just figured since it was a straight through, go ahead, that's the way to get rid of it. You know what I mean? Plus all the Galactus stuff, that's the new hype with the, the new X-Men. And then I have X-Men 97 and X-Men 90 something else that is the second and third installments. Do you do Batman? Oh yeah, Batman's one of the things I have yeah, in my, I my love personal. Batman too, him, Spider-Man, Daredevil, I and Spawn. Saw, pretty yeah. much it. Spawn was man when I when Spawn first came out in in the nineties, I was in Tucson. I was in the Air Force. Tucson. And man, I saw the first one. I bought like ten of them. I loved it. I just sold all but one. Yeah. Ooh, I'm, I'm keeping it. I bought a Spawn off the shelf. It was like two eighty something, right? The cover was absolutely. I bought it because of the cover. It was stunning. Yeah. And, you know, I'm a big free heaven and hell or whatever, but it was great. I went back to, to look at these things for another guy who was who was looking for missing ones. And I pick it up, it's like 80 bucks for the I'm like, what? I should have taken them all off this stuff? <laughs> How who was to know that yeah. like two eighty something to like the gunslinger or somewhere around there yeah. was gonna be just low print run. Yeah. I thought I know who the hell would have ever known I would have taken every last Back demo. then I was collecting to collect. I wasn't Yeah, I didn't think I was ever gonna sell anything or do anything. I just liked the art. I, I love the cover. Hey, getting yeah, just I'll go like like four or five okay I, I was like okay wow. i don't want to get anybody big yeah. i'm sure i would have heard definitely it definitely you know lower grade copy I yeah to he said, the guy that I said i was five yeah. to seven you know well, Got playing. i appreciate it that uh i wish you would have got you know everything but i wish also, i wish too i wonder where he got this i'm from. also glad because i'm always like probably like i said so it is here 
I gave this fucking deal on. Bro, we just got a couple collections. I'm not saying they are. Literally, I don't know. Six, seven hundred people five minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really good condition. Uh, I did my buddy Ashley, who I introduced him to at the meetup. Uh, uh, yeah. These are nice. Yeah. Oh, well, that one is going to be six ninety nine, like but for him, I'll give it to you for six hundred. Okay. You got to understand, Rob Liefeld is a hundred and fifty bucks for just a signature now, gotcha. and the book alone is five hundred, cool. just without without yeah, signature. Yeah. So I'll let him know. Ooh, I'm gonna, yeah, I want to grab this. I think. Not able to make it. And, and I don't okay. believe that's been pressed to clean. Okay. And I believe it's a newsstand too. Yeah. One hundred and fifty yeah. bucks, really. At least you don't know if these are like complete or anything, right? You look through these. Everything or? is pro oh, yeah. They, everything, yeah, dude. Everything is guaranteed. You find a coupon this and I'll get you a new one. I'll get you a better one. I don't. I, that is, you know, that was one of the things I told one of the guys for the 181. You know, lowers the sketches to like forty dollars now. Oh, I didn't realize. So that that's it's time. already the signature is already thirty. It used to be like a like a lot more, but now it's like thirty five or twenty five. So it's already done. And you have this number one, so you know, it's ready, ready to go. And he'll be here not that long. What is that amazing Spider-Man down there? That Daredevil? That, that's a, a, a homage, a Daredevil homage. That's cool. How much is that one? It's like eight hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, eight hundred rubies. Rupees, ruples, pesos. What do you want to pay for it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just, Adam's, Don't ask me that. Adam just asked for three ninety nine. I gotta pay Adam two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars to get him, and then he's charging fifty bucks for a signature. This is sick. So it's cool because it has a COA. Yeah, but on on eBay it's ridiculous. So you tell me for you nineteen ninety nine, okay? Because it comes out to almost two thousand nine hundred. Even his was yeah. was two, two, two grand, and he had a little bit better. I would have said buy his first. Because his number three was a little bit better, but I'm guaranteeing you the prices that they went at the grades. I did all the grades and prices. Yeah. And it came out to two thousand nine hundred and something. Yours came out to three thousand seven hundred and something, was it? Right? They did six thousand with one signature. There's a try thing. Oh, dude. Oh, so this is the one that has all this three has, signatures. This has all. Oh, so this is probably only the fifty dollar one then. No, <laughs> no, no. There's, there's your fifty dollar one right there. The lowest one was ninety nine. That now one's the the. I saw it last time. I saw yeah, this book. I went home and looked it up. It's expensive. And I noticed that they had like the one signature, but all three was hard yeah, to the, find. Yeah, that one's the six thousand. This one's a two thousand. Like this is a two thousand dollar book. No, no. Oh. <laughs> there, there's a one that's six thousand. Six thousand. There's one that's two thousand. Print run. Twenty five hundred. Right. And so. These guys, I don't even see where the signature is on this thing. Like, like on every single one of them, every single one of them, where's the signature? Where is it? Because I don't see it. This is just a DF edition. They don't have the one with the signatures. They're saying they're the 2000, those, those are the 6000 runs. I want to make sure it's the right one. And now that I see that the other ones are 100, 115, they're all the same with no signatures. Yeah, this would be sick to come home with. Sure. Oh, you're going home with it, isn't yeah. you? Yeah, I, told, I already cool. told. I already told you. I already told you the '70s are back, baby. You don't have any Silver Age bags and boards I could buy from you, do you? Silver Age back bags and boards. Yeah. I have 28 points. Whatever you're willing to sell, I'll take. Look at that one-stop shop over here with Tony. Oh, I I used to be the the, the rep for Comic Pro Line. Oh, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> How do you think I got famous? I Com think I got famous. <laughs> Dude, Comic Tom, uh, Bueller. Uh, uh, Carnivore, every, everybody out there who did exclusives or sold on what, everything. I was supplying with bags and boards for three years. These are four boards in one. So, but I just had 28 points. I, I don't know where they are. They would sell these little trinkets. And what they are is stand, stand up pop-ups. And they have the original pricing on them, you know, three or four dollars or whatever. But they're collector's items, and you don't ever find them in the original packages. Like t-shirts and stuff like that. So, yeah, they're $20, and they were like $4, but they are just flawless in the package. This is basically the first appearance of The Watchmen. So this is a very expensive book. It's like 500 probably like 550 three, or something. I think it's in the 2000s plus. 
in CGC. Nine point eight because the regular regular one at like nine point eight is a thousand. So, but it's just this is my first time seeing one of these. There's also one of these in that box over there. That's first Constantine. It's only three to five dollars at Tony's unfamous garage sale. If it wasn't for that for these two ticks, I would have sent that in. But this one is the one. Oh, that one it's even numbered too. Yeah, it's got the COA and it's never been open. I went down. I went down on it because everybody else it glows in the dark. A bunch of good books in here. I'm just trying to figure out what oh, I want to grab. Ones? Ones these I was gonna put out. I completely forgot. You see these? Where? That, see. And they're in price to go. They were they were so expensive, uh, a, like a month ago. And they're in dead, dead, dead mint. You might even get a fucking nine nine on these things. These are the beast for the for the movie. This is where uh, Deadpool gets his uh, healing factor from, because he's fighting Wolverine, and he cuts him up, and he gets his blood in his blood, and that's how he winds up getting, because he didn't have the, the healing factor before this. So I think it's the one right after this one. So, but it's a, it's a three part story, and it's just fantastic. If you want. I'll give you that same deal I gave that other guy, and that is, you can go sell it to somebody else right now for another. Uh, no, I, got, I know it's definitely worth it. I, I saw the one ten. I almost lost. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. I mean, Norman, he, he he had the same one a little bit better, like I was yeah, saying, yeah. and his was about three three thousand something, and he sold his for two G's because the guy bought like what, like five grand worth of off you. He really was going to buy ten grand. Oh wow. But yeah, we send each other to so everyone could benefit once you get into a group. Is this a full hug? Uh, it's full run. Full run. Yeah. yeah there's wow. nothing more after that. That's awesome. And everything is graded to a T. Uh -huh. Everything and like the, one of them has a you know like somebody put it on a wall and they put a hole through it. Yeah. It's a, it's a spot on three. All right. So 3.0. So you go, oh this guy. Everything I have is guaranteed. You can knock on my door right afterwards, okay? Daredevil right here. Oh, yeah. This one's cool. I, I love more than the one in the corner because it's, it's like almost a 9 out. With a black cover and a 9 0, it's ridiculous, dude. How much is this one? Ooh, 80 bucks. <laughs> but for you today, it's $79.99. Can you lift that X bit for me? Of, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, uh, I'm venturing to fear, so I had the the Morbius set. And uh, oh no, I still have a twelve. Okay. Twelve, but it's twelve. It's the second bit of blade. But uh, this one had dubs of almost everything, and especially the blade one is the most important one. Ooh, and it had cool, dubs. Yeah. It has all the good blade keys except for uh, thirteen and ten. You already got ten, so and that's the hardest one. But uh, the Neil Adams swipe cover, all those things. And what's even greater is it has uh, the annuals, just as that first Lilith. So, and then I have a Morbius run in there, a full, almost a full Star Wars run. But I haven't, I haven't priced any of this stuff yet, so it's this like- This is a whole Star oh, Wars? Dude, I, dude, I have, I have one you can never imagine. It's just, just, you know. Wow, this is cool. And it's always whether I want to get, you know, whether I want to sell it or not, you know what I mean? All I know is when you see these boxes, these kind of boxes right here, this exact box, when you see these boxes, you know you hit pay dirt. I don't care. And I want them, the more yellow and they're looking, the more I, I get Because all it says is, oh my God, I'll look at two books and say, look, I'll just take it. Because I, I, I want to be surprised when I get home. And if I pass out in somebody else's house, it's gonna be really bad. You know what I mean? There's just certain things I know after 35 years or 36 years of doing this, it just comes self-evident. I see guys that go over and they go, oh, I don't see anything, I don't see any keys. And there's, uh, oh, I'm sorry, there's Bloodshot Zero. They go, what, the f what would I do with that? It has no price on it, who cares? It's a $4,000 book. Yeah. You know, they don't see, you know, it's 28 bucks. So. 20 bucks for you. 20 bucks? Do you need one of those? No, I got I got one that one. It's a low grade copy. You got the one with the gold the He's gold cloak? He's a printing error? Well neither do I! <laughs> I would tell I'll color one up for you with my gold 
go pen. Like this is impossible to find. Impossible. It is it is a full cover, right? In almost mint condition. New stands. Look up there. There's another connecting cover. This is extremely hard to find. And you're like, well, what are the condition? They're gonna be insanely beautiful conditions. Yeah, it's still sealed in that the plastic. Let me, let me, let me take this up here because God for my God. I'm gonna wind up putting this here because nobody even knows who Wondar is. So somebody says, hey, Wondar's coming out. Oh, oh God, I love Wondar. <laughs> Wait a minute, you don't even know who he is. They got it spelled like that. <laughs> but yeah, good luck on getting that thing signed. I don't think Adam's ever coming out again. If he does, somebody's gonna pay him a million dollars. Like I said, you can get that book for 50 cents. The Eagle, I got 10 of them, but I have the world's only 10 or 11 signed his name on the grade and the only 98 out there why do you put the boards in the middle instead of on the outside some of them i don't want if they ever drop they're they're so perfect at the corners i would have a tizzy if something happened to those sharp corners so as long as the paper is strong in the center it's not brittle i'll do it like that and leave it in a bigger bag what are you charging them for those yeah. 10 million dollars yeah no more everything Huh? What were you thinking? I don't know. What are they? I have no clue. The Moon Knight 29s? Yeah, I have no clue. I have to look them up. You know, what I've been seeing is um, like around 100 for the 9s and then like 65s for 7.5, you know. Those are like, like $10 books. Oh, they're like $10 books. Thank you. I still had a look, but I mean... This is just one of those ones where I saw that book and I was like, you know what, I have to have that cover, so... Oh, wow. You sure you don't want that other one? Oh, you're talking about the back of it? Let me, let me see. Yeah. No. That's got a stain, so f no. And this has got just the beginning stages of boxing. Beautiful cover, but it's going to be cheap. Like, real cheap. Okay. Like, real cheap. Listen, it could be a 9.8. Mm -hmm. Looks like a 9.8. That one stain will bring you down to a 6.5. Yep. Instantly. Yep. Dude, my, that... I'll show you before you leave too. Oh no, that's what happened. Right I, I, I thought it was a beautiful um, first appearance of Blade. The combo kit. Okay. For the real buyer. What you got? Oh God. You got it, darling, right here. Put it in this beautiful bag that you can beat the <laughs> out of it. All it's perfect. gonna look fantastic. All right. Why are you doing that? tab for your moisture you take this off you won't get this you'll see it somewhere on one of these oh the yeah, corners like will the, peel and, the and flip ears, up yeah. yeah especially for your mylars and all this other thing and then another thing a friend was telling me this is another thing too because of the mylars when you face them like this because because of the depth of the two mil let's say they got stored away too much you wouldn't notice it till you take it out of the bag. Whether it, that was like this, that that line will go through your book. So doing it like this, like this, will save room. Or like Coliseum of Comics does, the three pieces of tape and then the and the thing at the bottom. The fat will be at the bottom and the flip will be at the top. So your fingers will breeze through easily. This is what's in every book. Every CGC book, whether it's let me, let me, uh, whether it's because uh, sometimes what people do is automatically oh well that that book's been restored, dude. It goes in every book, you moron. Yeah. And I keep every one that I take out and re regrade for that simple fact that God forbid you do find a book like this and it's got the beginning stages, this will stop it in its tracks. I just care, that's all. No, no, and I appreciate it. Trust me, the, you want this to stop dead in its tracks. Let me towel yours up, you know what I mean? You're not gonna, you're pretty much, no, no. Yeah, let's see where we're at, maybe okay. I'll grab them. Okay, we'll just put them right there for right I now. can't pass up these Spider-Mans, these are nice. Yeah. You'll definitely it. get killer grades on that. It's... These three you said $20 a piece ah, for, right? So 60 on the set? Yep. And then underneath that is the Metal Gear Solid. I'll probably have to pass on that. I usually try to find these for like 20 bucks. You know, when I'm grabbing them. 
I mean, if you do 20 a piece on, I'll take them. But I know they're nice. I don't want to bend your elbow. That's a little tough. It's only because they're that nice. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. They're real high grade copies, but the classic McFarlane cover too. There must have been something a little less on the deep color one than this one. I wouldn't have priced it five dollars more. Do you want to take one for twenty? I'll take one for twenty. Yeah. Okay, so three eighty. For three eighty. Right? right? Yeah. 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 Three eighty. That. This is straight tens. This I know you're not gonna believe this, but this is super hot right now, and this was given out at the diamond retailer. So this is uh the diamond retailer one. Then of course, you know, kill or be killed. Number one. You know, uh, just just cool stuff, you know. That's uh the, the variant yeah. of uh of uh black superman. You didn't know that? No. Yeah. 24 is the first black Superman and then it's the variant cover that's this one is very cool you know what that is right mm -hmm. had two movies already red oh yeah with um yeah I forgot his name yeah he's senile now he's, he's <laughs> done you know this is cool in here you know Civil War one black you know second Tolson cover you know the Sandman Lucy I don't I forgot what the first appearance is uh, all the number ones in these because there was four number ones that you had to make in a thing. I forgot how it worked. But this is really cool. This is the toy variant. And I think I have another one here to show that the other one is here. The other one's in here, too, for 10 But But go through it, man. I mean, you cool know stuff, what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a lot of great Appreciate you, Tony. Oh, here we go. Look at that. That's a cool there's one. A, there's a bunch of stuff that's up for number ones over here. Marvel. Let's see. Captain America. Okay, our number nine. Oh, this is a cool one here. This girl got the Jenny Friesian. Oh, I was looking at that one. Yeah, that one is nice. That that one will tell your girlfriend, I love you, baby. How much is that one? Ten. Yeah, but this one's cool too. <laughs> it is. This is a nice condition. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this one. <laughs> Sarah's on the back burner. <laughs> no, give Sarah that. No, Tony, Dude, seriously. <laughs> look at Tony making me look bad. <laughs> hey, Sarah makes me look bad. Comment down below and let me know what you think of Tony's sales. It's always a lot of fun. He always has lots of cool books. Not too many people showed up though, but that's some of the best parts about Tony's sales. It's like a hidden little gem. So let me show you guys some of the cool stuff we picked up at Tony's. Comment down below what your favorite book is. But I got some definitely uh, some cool stuff I'm excited about. First thing is these really cool um, bags and boards. These things are like really thick. So I'm excited to use these for some of the Silver Age. And then we did pick up these. He threw these in for free, which is really nice. He gave this one to Sarah. I did pick this up last minute. He gave me a couple bucks off on the Daredevil. And then I got the Amazing Spider-Man. This thing is probably my top pickup of the day with the COA, triple signed. Can't find any references to it. So if anybody knows anything um, about the value on this, put it down below. A really nice copy of 111. I did look through the interiors on these. We got 57. This thing's definitely a, a nice mid-grade copy. I got three copies of the Wolverine. One's a newsstand. And then this whole Batman set here, which is really nice. So I'm excited to go through these. Tony said everything's complete. So definitely a nice pickup today. You guys have to comment down below and let me know what you think.